In this video, we're going to look at seven methods for inserting symbols. First one, just the copy and paste method. So let's imagine you're in Word and you want to put a green heart here. Well, just find the character and copy it in the usual way or press a copy button if the website where you find it has one like ours does. And then simply go back to your Word document and paste it in. Copy and paste is a very simple way of putting in a symbol. Method two, the alt code method. So Google the alt code for the symbol you want. There you can see 128154. Return to your Word document, hold down the alt key, enter the alt code, and then when you release the alt key, so the symbol will appear. Next, the HTML decimal code method. Now this is used for websites. Go and find the HTML decimal code. We have the one on our website. Well, we've done that one. We've done the old code. This is the one you want, the HTML decimal code. Remember the code or copy it, or if the website allows, like ours, press the copy button. Here we are on our HTML. In it goes, and this will produce the green heart. Simple. Method four, very similar, the HTML entity code. Simply navigate to a website that's got the HTML entity codes, but not all symbols have one, and this one doesn't. So let's go to one that does. Here we have, look, ampersand heart suit semicolon. So we'll just go to the specific page for this and we'll use that page to copy it. Then we'll go to our HTML and put it in. So that is another way of getting the symbol. The CSS code method. Navigate to a website that has the CSS codes for symbols. We have them on our site. Now, cascading style sheets are all about styling, but actually you can enter content using after and before. So this code here will put in the character after a span. So there we go. Let's put another span in just to have a look. So every time there is a span, using that styling, it'll put our symbol in. Method six, the HTML hex code method. Now this is really similar to the HTML decimal method, only this time it's the hex code. So let's just copy that. Let's go to our HTML. Let's put in the HTML hex code for that character. And then when we refresh, there is our character. Method seven, the Unicode method. This can be used across different platforms and different programming languages. The bit of the Unicode that you're interested in is the bit after the U plus, so this, which more often than not is the hex code. So type the hex code and then on your keyboard, hold down Alt, and press X. And as you do that, the hex code will turn into the character. Simple enough. Here's the hard bit, using Unicode in JavaScript. So let's type a little bit of JavaScript to enter a symbol. There we go, let my string equal, and then that's the format for a character with a hex code 2665. So let's have a look. So 2665 is our black heart again. Notice that I used the black heart, not the green heart. This is because the black heart has a four character hex code, 2665. And this is the format that JavaScript wants. 
The green heart has a five character code, so it is too long. The standard format only works for characters up to FFFF. These are known as characters within the basic multilingual plane, the BMP. For characters above FFFF, this format is required. This is the UTF-16 format. It has two four-character parts. The first one is called the high surrogate, and the second one is called the low surrogate. And this is the, the UTF-16 format for our green heart. Here is the coding for how to turn a character outside the basic multilingual plane into the UTF-16 format. There is a link in the description that gives more detail about this coding. So let's just try it. So here we have the UTF-16 format for 1F49A, and there it is using the programming I've just shown you. And now we have our green heart. That's all. Thanks for watching. It was a whiz through, but pause the bits that matter to you.